from days of long ago, from uncharted regions, comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. A mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. As Voltron's legend grew, peace settled across the galaxy. On planet Earth, a galaxy alliance was formed. Together with the good planets of the solar system, they maintained peace throughout the universe until a new horrible menace threatened the galaxy. Voltron was needed once more. This is the story of the super force of space explorers. Entrusted by the Alliance with the ancient secret of how to assemble Voltron. Defender of the Universe. Defender of the Universe. Where are we headed? Toward a Drool command base, Jeff. Intelligence reports the Drools have massed a large force there to attack Earth. Then why don't we go full speed to the base and rip them apart? Voltron Force is ready and willing. We could surprise them. And before they knew what was happening, it would be all over. Negative. This is to be a combined maximum effort with the support fleet. We can't take any unnecessary chances. The survival of Earth is in our hands. Maintaining our present speed and course, estimated contact time to the Drool command base is 9.2 Alpha. Voltron will reach the asteroid belt surrounding the target in 1.2 Alpha. That asteroid belt, that could be trouble. Commander, Colonel Carver is on the telecom. Yes, Colonel Carver. Commander, how do you plan to navigate through that asteroid belt? I was going to have Voltron break the trail and we'd follow. Hmm, that sounds too risky. We have no idea what's in there. It would be a perfect place for a trap. Commander Kizor, as you so cleverly predicted, both of the Alliance fleets are heading directly toward us. Excellent. Where is Captain Maldon's force? He is on his way to the supply planet to rearm and refuel. As you ordered, he's been instructed to avoid contact with the enemy fleets. Now what is the status of the forward combat group and the reserve group? Captain Zerg's forward combat group has completed placing the mines and is hidden in the asteroid belt. Captain Garp's reserve group will join Maldon's fleet when he returns. The plan is Maldon and Garp together will attack the enemy from behind. This will force them into the asteroid belt. There they will be trapped and destroyed by the forward combat group. Then nothing will stop us from attacking Earth. Captain Maldon, if we continue on this heading, we'll intercept the Space Explorer's support fleet. Shouldn't we change course? Captain Maldon doesn't change course for anyone. Stay on the present heading. We'll make them get out of our way. But we have been ordered to avoid any galaxy fleets. Commander Kizor will forget his orders after we destroy the enemy fleet. I guarantee that. But, sir, we need supplies. We are low on ammunition and fuel. We could run out of them in battle. Nonsense! It will be all over quickly. My troops are the most well-trained forces in all of space. No one could possibly defeat us. With my brilliant leadership, we'll crush this support fleet as if it were a measly Venusian rock walker. <laughs> then we'll go for supplies. Well, there it is, the asteroid belt. Now, that's what I call some kind of rock pile. We'll just have to dodge those beauties like they're raindrops. <laughs> real big raindrops. Then what we need is a real big umbrella. Any other ideas? Yeah, let's go home and eat. Hey, team, <laughs> I've got an idea. After this is all over, let's have a big party. I'll bring the space burgers. And I'll bring the buns. <laughs> what about you, Rocky? What are you gonna bring? An enormous appetite. <laughs> Okay, Voltron Force, let's get serious. Right. Jeff, I just saw a scout probe pass us by. Commander, did you send a robot scout probe into the asteroid belt? Yeah, Jeff, that was one of ours. Why? We can find out anything you want to know. Jeff, it was a high-speed video scan probe. Well, I guess it'll see things quicker than we could. Exactly. We're not going to jump into that asteroid belt until we're positive of who's waiting for us in there. 
I get the message, sir. The probe is out of the asteroid belt. All systems are go. Have all staff officers report to the conference room to monitor the probe. The probe indicates the asteroid belt is 300 tichets in depth with a density of 0.38 and a magnetic force of 759er. With that high density, it would be like moving the fleets through a solid wall. Our larger craft would hardly be able to maneuver at all. Ah, uh, that's a strange object. Something was on that asteroid. Reverse the tape. I want to see it again. Stop. Now come in closer. It's a mine! More than one? There must be hundreds of them! The probe's relay circuits have been cut off. It may have run into a meteorite storm of some kind. Oh, it looks like it was hit by bursts of laser gunfire. Commander Hawkins, report to the bridge immediately. Enemy force has been spotted. Report to the bridge immediately. Gentlemen, man your battle stations. Sir. Sir. Attention, attention, combat alert. Report to your stations. Commander Hawkins, what is your status? On full alert. Good. Commander, it seems the Drool Force is going to attack my support fleet. Maintain your position, covering our rear, and at all costs, avoid entering the asteroid belt. I understand, Colonel. Jeff, do you read me? Yes, sir. What are our orders? Take Voltron back to the support fleet and give the Colonel as much help as you can. Good luck. Yes, sir. We'll do our best. All right, gang. You heard the Commander. Captain Maldon, the enemy support fleet is now 200 Tykets directly ahead. As you have ordered, all attack squadrons are being launched. Very good. We'll hit them so fast and hard, it'll be over before they know it. I'll be the toast of the entire Drool Empire. What? Maldon is attacking the enemy support fleet? Yes, sir. We just intercepted one of his video scan signals to his fighter squadrons. They're engaging the support fleet in an all-out attack. He can't do that. He'll ruin our plans. Call him. We tried, but it was no use, Commander. We can't get through. All his comm channels are being used by his combat operations. The ambitious fool, doesn't he realize what he's done? The success of our plan required a full overwhelming attack by both his forces and Captain Gops. Okay, Voltron Force, there they are, jet ahead. Sea team, land team, air team, let's show them what Voltron Force can do. Yeah! Captain Meldon, Voltron is causing heavy damage to our fighter squadrons. Launch our mighty Robeast! <laughs> He'll quickly chew up that Voltron! Uh-oh, look what's coming at us! Well, how thoughtful of them to keep the beast for last. Let's give it a taste of our ray beam whip. Brace yourself for a shock, team. Good work, Robeast. I couldn't have done it better myself. Now that we got rid of that nuisance, let's finish off the entire fleet. Robot fighters, I want a maximum effort! Good work! Keep it up!
sir, it looks as though Captain Maldon's forces are losing the battle. No! He must have help! Very well. Have both the reserve group and the forward combat group attack out of the asteroid belt. Commander Hawkins, astral radar indicates a large dual force emerging from the asteroid belt and heading toward the support fleet. The support fleet would be in real trouble if attacked from the rear. We must not allow one single drool ship to reach them. Where's our firepower? Sir, we're nearly out of ammunition and our fuel level is critical. Why isn't the Ropies tearing the enemy fleet apart? It is still in combat with Voltron. We're not finished yet, you ugly hunk of junk! Solar combat spears! He's coming at us! Jump, team! We're falling in the volcano! Jeff, watch out! We're heading for mountain lava! Laser whip! Yeah! Oh! Sword! Rocket ropes! Our sword is tangled in the rocket ropes! That trick again? Okay, team, it's now or never. Make it count! for detonation! The winner and still champion, Voltron! The Rogue Beast has been destroyed! Maldon's forces are desperate! Why haven't the release squadrons reached him? They're being held back by the other Alliance forces! A direct hit on the superstructure. Fire spreading to the third deck. It'll take a lot more than a little fire to put us out of commission. Sir, it is hopeless. We are out of ammunition. The rogue beast has been destroyed and our fighter squadrons are almost wiped out. There is nothing between us and Voltron. Then we have no choice. We'll have to fall back into the asteroid belt. You spinning laser blades! I ordered you to move at full speed. Why aren't you giving me full speed? I can't, sir. We are on reserve energy. There is not enough power for our turbo pulse motors. Let's get to the escape ships before we explode. Commander, together the support fleet and Voltron have destroyed most of the attacking drool forces. We're coming to join up with you. Good. We'll welcome the company. There's enough action here for all of us. Sir, the combined enemy fleets are overwhelming our forces! Then all is lost! Our master plan to destroy the Galaxy Alliance fleet has been ruined! Now we must make other plans! Commander, now are we going to the Drool Command Base? Negative, Jeff. Return to the command ship now. Huh? But, Commander, we've got him on the run! Why don't we finish him off? Jeff, we're still not sure what's waiting for us in that asteroid belt. Also, you need to refuel and rearm. Gotcha, Commander. We're coming in. Okay, teams, break it up and return to the command ship. You're all to have vehicles maintenance checked, refueled, and rearmed. 
I want to be fully operational as soon as possible, so please be quick with all your repair work. A fine job, Commander. Thank you. Unfortunately, we're not out of the woods yet. We still haven't completed our main mission, to stop the drools from attacking Earth. May I see all the data we have on this asteroid belt? Well, we sent out another deep scanner probe for more information. As you can see, the asteroid belt is extremely dense, and it will be very difficult for both your fleet and for mine to maneuver through the belt without hitting some of the asteroids. But besides that, an even bigger hazard is the contact mines that the drools have scattered all over. However, since the drill fighting force came out of the belt, I'm sure there's a clear channel through the mines and asteroids. The problem is how to find it. I know, sir. Voltron can plow right through the rocks. No, he can't take that risk with Voltron. But why not? Because, as we all know, Voltron is irreplaceable. But the job has to be done. Yes, I know. But there must be another method to find that clear channel. Let me think about it for a minute. Colonel, let me go in the Meteor Breaker. But, Lieutenant, the Meteor Breaker's not armed. I know, sir. But it was built strong enough to break up meteorites. It's the perfect vehicle for this mission. It's by far our best bet. It'll be dangerous. I know, but as Jeff said, it has to be done. And you'll agree it is the best way. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> attention! Attention! Make ready for Meteor Breaker launch. All units complete refueling and rearming. How can you eat at a time like this? It's dinner time. What's wrong with that? Any time's a good time to eat. Are you always hungry? Not when I sleep. <laughs> What is it? I don't know. I picked up a little dried-up seed on that last planet we explored. Hmm. It might grow to be a thousand feet tall. Then we'll call it a Voltron tree. Right. Hi, team. I'm home again. Fill us in. How did it go with the top brass? Is Voltron going to plow through those asteroids? No, the Colonel's afraid Voltron might be damaged, so the Lieutenant is going to take the Meteor Breaker. Huh? Seems to me there is a good chance the Lieutenant could be damaged. There is. Voltron will follow him into the asteroid belt, and the fleets will follow Voltron. Attention, attention. Prepare all vehicles of the Voltron force for launch. Here we go again. Yeah! Jeff, please wait. Huh? Here's something for you. What is it? It's a good luck charm I bought from a wizard on planet Korob. Lisa, I don't believe in that kind of stuff. Please. I've got a feeling the Voltron Force is going to need all the luck we can get. Here. Attention, attention. All members of the Voltron Force, report to your launch stations immediately. I'll, uh, wear it. To all units of the fleet, this is Commander Hawkins. Maintain a close formation behind Voltron. Jeff, keep your eyes open. The drools could still have a few more tricks waiting for us. I understand, Commander. Team, you heard the Commander. Be on alert. We got you! Both the Galaxy fleets are moving towards the command base. Very well. Prepare for Plan B. If they break through the asteroid belt, Plan B is our best alternative. I think it'll surprise them. I know it will.
Jeff, we can't find any clear channel through this mess. I'm gonna shove some asteroids and make my own. That's too dangerous! If you hit one of those mines, you'll be done for! Maybe, but we've gotta get to that command base to stop the drills from attacking Earth. Lieutenant, watch it! We're gonna hit that mine! That was close. I don't know how much more the media breaker could take. Keep going! We're nearly through the belt! Hey, watch out! Lieutenant, you can do it, but watch those mines out there! Lieutenant! <sighs> The heat is really intense, Commander. There's a hole ahead! We made it through! Hang on, team. Look, there's something ahead of us. Uh, I see it. It must be the Drool Command Base. But there's no Drool ships around here. Nothing. The base has been abandoned. Lisa, your good luck charm worked. When they saw the Meteor Breaker was going to get through with our fleets, they just ran away. Thanks to the Lieutenant's bravery, they canceled their attack on Earth. And my thanks to the Voltron Force. Voltron salutes the lieutenant. It's the bravery and determination the lieutenant showed in the meteor belt that often makes the difference between success and failure on important missions. Those noble virtues are the very basis of the governments of all the member planets of the Galaxy Alliance. With the continued support of these beliefs, and with the help of Voltron, Jeff and the other team members who assemble the mighty defender of the universe may someday achieve a lasting peace for all the people in the cosmos.